Hello everyone. Now this video will teach you how to access to the firmware area of the 810033 USB hard drive. And this is one Western Digital SMR USB drive. Now let's check how to uh, convert the USB interface to SATA interface using this latest G3 USB to SATA adapter for this module, okay? And to remove the MCU knock, uh, we need to connect this USB Type-C cable to its computer. And then we need you to use one special software, this one. OK, we can read ROM. Click, click connect first, then uh, get ROM information. Next, read ROM. Because we have already read it, we can read it again, again, okay? ROM 33. After read this original ROM, we can go to the DFLWD firmware repair software. Here, ROM unlock, we can generate the unlock ROM. Select original ROM and to generate this unlock ROM. Click OK. Uh, it's already unlocked. OK, this one. Because we have gener already ge uh, generated unlock ROM, so we can write this one directly. We cannot generate it again. Okay, we can use this one, block 411, write. So next is the unlock ROM. Okay, now we write this ROM uh, successfully. After this one, we can uh, close the ROM operations and exit the program. And we go to the DFWD firmware repair software. Go to the WD firmware repair software, power on the drive. OK, we can enter the program. Now we can see this is uh, ID information after disable the 411. Click OK. Now this is knock. Now we can see uh, users can access to the firmware error successfully. Next, the users can go to the firmware operations to back up the modules. OK, users can back up by ID or backup by ABA copy zero copy one. The most important firmware modules to backup is the module one ID to backup. So it's very easy to use the G3 data recovery adapter to read write ROM, to write the unlock ROM, and then access to the firmware error. Thank you for watching the video.